Hello, good people of um, Minecraft here. I'm going to be doing a mod spotlight today on computer craft, and we've literally just done the end of the episode on um, our survival. And tomorrow we should be hopefully be doing some tech it. And I'm just going to do a little mod spotlight, yeah, on um, computer craft. Um, if you don't know, in computer craft comes included within the tech it package. Uh, it comes with a load of other things like industrial craft and stuff like that. They all work really well together. And I'll just show you some of the things that you can possibly make with them and the possibilities of computer craft really. And you can see this little building. I've literally just built it, built it and it has a few things in it that I can just show off. So if I go onto here for example, right, you see there's no switch next to the door. So it, it asks me for a password. If I type in bacon password correct and the door opens that's all fine and good but you've got to notice if I don't type in the password right like I type in here like that it doesn't open type in that doesn't open oh, and there's no way around that unless you can terminate it but yeah basically it's just basic password lock I've done uh, I can show you how I did it if I just edit start up and this is basically the raw code behind it if you want to copy that out and just use it on your game. Um, basically it just shows that the password is bacon so I can change that. It writes onto the console password. Um, if you input, um, the input is the input basically. And if the password is the input, which is here, then it prints the password as correct. Um, and then it will do the redstone command to the right um, and then it will sleep for five seconds and then it will turn off the redstone and then it will reboot and then redo the whole thing again and if it's wrong then it just does a reboot quickly and yeah so that's that that's just exit reboot there we go it's control r to reboot uh, okay. Well, that's the first thing. Second thing I'll show you is floppy disks. That's probably useful. If I get, oh god! Right, I'll be right back. Just give me a second. Right, I'm back, and I just found out that I hadn't like um, my inventory wiped, and I hadn't got the floppy and stuff like that. And I'd, I had like a pre-built file on it, stuff like that. So basically, it's just a normal. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, clear, clear. Uh, reboot. There we go. Um, this is just a floppy drive. You can put the disk in here. Otherwise, it's just like normal computer. It's just what we've got on there already. So I'll put the floppy in. And then see a uh, list of directory. I believe you can do ls as well, but I use dir for some reason. I just prefer dir. So if you change directory to disk. And as you can probably see, I've got one called Hello, but you can also call Hello Floppy. And this is the file I just made, so it says, Hello George, this is the file you just made, and this is like awesome. And I can show you how I made that. Quickly, and it says, it just prints onto the screen this, it's nothing else apart from that. And pretty, pretty simple. And that's basically a floppy disk. You can use that to save whatever files and transfer them over onto different computers and stuff. This is another little mechanism I made. And basically, let's say you've got like a quarry or something pumping into a minecart using the um, whatever it's called. Oh god, cart something. Oh that mod. So the one that makes you be able to use all the minecarts for stuff. I can't remember what it's called now. But yeah, it can. Basically, you get tracks going and stuff. So what I can do once it's pumped all its stuff into the, into the car, I can do this, and I can type in. Um, let me just. Oh, sorry, I just forgot to. Ah, that's it. De ah, deliver. That's it. I've been deliver, and it delivers me my diamonds. And I can just always go send that back. There we go. And that sends it back up to there. But pretend that's just a mine or something and you can have that go back and forth whenever you want. Um, you can also use buttons and stuff like that, but you know, it's pretty cool to have on a computer. 
Right, the last little thing, actually second to last little thing I've, uh, I've made is sort of just to show you what is possible with it. So let's say uh, minecart. Actually, I believe I have some minecarts in here. Oh, screw it. Um, there we go. There's a minecart which is in there, actually. Right, as you can see here, there's little sorting sort of these things. That's with the mine cart mod, whatever it's called. Um, Railcraft, that's it. Um, it switches the tracks. These are just track switches. This is station 4, 3, um, 2, and 1. And I've got up a computer system which actually changes which station you're going to go to. So it, it has many uses, like which station do I want to go to? Let's say I want to go to station 3. Uh, give me a second. If I want to go to station, sorry, give me, uh, sorry. Right, if I want to go to station 2, station 2 is now the active station. Press the button, I'm going to station 2. Oops, look what I've done. Silly me. I'm really not prepared for this as much as I thought I was, but I don't know if station 3 wasn't. Let me just give me, give me a second. Um, it was invalid side, so if I go to edit startup station, this is what I just wrote out, wrote out, sorry, wrote out quite quickly. So if I go to station three, ah, that's why this needs to be changed to bottom. There we go. Oh, let's just save that. Just reboot it, and now it's this active station. And as you can see, this one is selected, and that one will push you through there. That's a pretty cool feature you can do, I guess, with wireless redstone and railcraft. Um, you need quite a few of these. I, I really advise getting Technic Pack. It's really, really good. Uh, one of the awesome things that they did bring into um, was compute. Uh, sorry. These mining turtles, they don't consume any fuel, so it's pretty much just like a quarry, except from programmable. Um, it's probably cheap, yeah, it's cheaper to make, you don't need all the diamond stuff. You just need a diamond pickaxe and basically a computer, really, and then a couple bit of stone and stuff. And these you can connect floppy disks to, you can do whatever you want, put floppy disks on the side, and they just mine. Uh, let me just do a little example. Just get rid of that. Um, edit. Startup. I'm just going to make a little thing that loops. So if I do turtle dot dig, um, I think that's turtle dot dig. Oh. And then turtle dot forward. And that will tell it to basically dig one block in front of it, and then it will move forward one block, and then it will reboot and just do exactly the same thing again. So if I just save that, and then um, reboot the operating system, and that should start working. See? It will just keep digging until it's able to move forward, and then it will move forward. So these are... Uh, turtles, they can be used for lots of things as well, like, um, just terminate that, um, actually, let's remove startup if you didn't know, um, for example, if I type in programs. This shows you all the things that you can do with it. Um, for example, excavate. This is quite a cool thing. It excavates, believe it or not. Radius of 5. We'll start excavating. It'll do it in sort of like a square of uh, 5 around it. If you just look at this, see, and then it'll do these ones. It'll just work like a quarry, really. 
Um, another thing, actually, I can show you quickly is if I go onto a computer. deep in a swamp and it is daytime. There is a chicken and a cow there. There are trees here. Um, get the trees. That doesn't make me... Uh, kill cow. The cow is injured by your blow. Kill cow. Kill chicken. Hmm, the chicken drops some chicken. A nice, uh... Punch the tree. The tree breaks up into blocks of wood which you pick up. Crafting bench. You don't have items, you need to craft a crafting table. Oh, well, yeah, you get the general gist. Um, it's just like a little game you can do. It's kind of hard, I can't do it. Um, that's because I'm mentally challenged. <laughs> but yeah, this is Cra um, Kimbu Craft, and this is George from the Weird Wanderers, and I'm signing off. Peace off, guys. Hope you enjoyed.